Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Uh, I got a quick uh, tech video for you today. Uh, a lot of guys like me, we like to, we just use what we can use, what we got laying around. So I'm gonna have a uh, quick camshaft tip for you that will uh, help you figure out what cam you have um, just laying around or that came out of a unknown engine or uh, what have you. So uh, stay tuned and I'll show you how to figure out the lift of your camshaft. Okay, so what we have here is a used uh, camshaft that I picked up somewhere, uh, and it is a it is a Mopar purple shaft. You can you can tell it's still got the purple here, and uh, a lot of people don't know what cam they have. You know, if they got a used cam laying around, or if you have a uh, an engine that you've you've bought or picked up that came in a car, and uh, you don't know what it is, and this is a way you can kind of give you an idea of what you have. Uh, you know, or it's, it's also helpful if you have, uh, an engine that you bought in a car that ran really good and you wiped the lobe and you want to replicate that cam again, this kind of give you an idea of what lift you're at. Uh, I do want to say before we get into this too deep, there's a lot of, of lo a lot of other aspects to a camshaft other than a total lift. You know, you have the duration, aver advertised duration, lobe separation, and all we're going to be addressing today is your uh, your bait, your lift. So uh, let's get started. I've already got uh, the formula kind of wrote down to speed up the video. Uh, what we're going to be doing is I'm not an artist. I'm not a very good drawler. So pretend like this is the camshaft. That's your lobe. Uh, you want to find your base circle here. And then find your lobe here. And then uh, you subtract the lobe lift minus the base, and that gives you your lift of the uh, lobe itself. So you take the lobe, multiply it by the rocker, which in my case is 1.5. That gives you your total valve lift. So uh, I've demonstrated them. I've already done it just for uh, say, you know for video purposes to speed it up. I've already did it, and uh, it's worth noting if you have a uh, you know you don't know what cam you have, right? So you can't just use one one lobe so you want to do you know it, it helps to do them all for you know wear purposes and uh, you know a uh, a dual grind cam will have different uh lifts for your exhaust or your intake so it helps if you measure them all i did the first four and this is a mopar cam it is a single um uh, single grind cam so it's going to be you know whatever it is it's all the way across is the same the duration and the exhaust is the, uh lift is the same on every load so uh i measured different ones and i'll do it on try to do it on camera uh i don't have a tripod so i'm just gonna have to hold it and this thing is wanting to roll around apparently my desk is not level so uh find your base circle you want to go from the back side like this and you want to just kind of yeah, it's want to roll let's do this one so get down on there i'm crooked all right you can see i'm at like uh, 1.23 well it's moving because i'm moving but it's about 34 that's like 40. There we go. That's three five. That's your base circle. Or two five, sorry. Yep. One point two three five. So wrote that down, which I got four on the first one. I got five on that one, second one, and I got two on the third one. So then for the low, you just put up the crossways. And what I like to do, which I'm not going to be able to do it because I've only got one hand, but I like to kind of hold this way and then very gently because you don't want to score your can, just kind of roll it. Uh, 
just roll it until you get to your max lift, right? And that's eight. And then it should start going. Okay, now it's starting to go back down. So eight to 1.582. So if you look here, that's pretty close to what I got on my low. I got eight four, eight zero, oh, and eight two. So that gives me, if you add all these up, it, it's you know I'm going to take the average of the two, which is 0.35 times my rocker is 5.25 lift. So the, if you take and you know just if you can find the manufacturer of the cam, you search you know Mopar Purple Shaft 5.25. The closest thing I can find is a 5.2 i think 5.28 was the uh so that's that's what this cam is um they don't make a 5.25 and you know this is not the most accurate means of measuring but it's pretty close so if you get uh if you can get that close you can usually find it if you know the manufacturer you can just kind of look through their cards and see their grinds and that'll give you pretty good pretty good idea of what you've got so uh just to recap you take your base circle, which on your camshaft, you know, you can see the lobe here. Your base circle is going to be the thinnest spot. That's the circle. And then the lobe lift. And then you subtract the two, which gives you this number, and then multiply it by your rockers. Uh, you know, a lot of rockers nowadays are one, six or higher. Uh, in my case, I'm using factory rockers, so it's a uh, 1.5. And, uh, the uh just to know if you have if you buy a camshaft like in this case you bought this new and it's advertised at a 528 that is with one five rockers so if you were using one six you're going to get more lift so uh that'll help you plan out you know as far as valve springs go that's it that's the number you have to know uh all right that's uh going to wrap this one up i hope you found this helpful and uh Hey guys, just wanted to add, I put it in the text in the video, but uh, whenever you're doing this math, uh, decimal point is crucial. It is 0.525, not 5.25. Uh, that's uh, five inches of lift instead of half inch of lift. So uh, that's my fault. I'm not going to go back and record everything again. I just wanted to make a note that uh, that is 0.528 cam, not a five inch cam. <laughs> All right. Thank you.